Good morning, everyone. Uh, Jason here with STS. I just wanted to take a minute to introduce ourselves. Adjust my camera a little bit. Oh, nice. I left the vacuum cleaner in the background. I won't be editing that out. Uh, anyways, we're a small repair company. We're located in Farmington, Missouri. Uh, we specialize in microelectronics and uh, mainly cell phone repair. Um, we do everything from screen replacements, um, you know, basic things where you can just plug it in and replace it and move on, um, all the way down to uh, micro soldering and microelectronics repair. Um, our main area of expertise is uh, logic boards. We get in and replace the components on these things. Um, and fix a lot of stuff that most everybody else would turn away. As you can see on this board here, I have stolen quite a few components for troubleshooting purposes. This is just one of my parts boards out of the many piles of parts boards that I have. Um, so anyways, we keep uh, every iPhone screen in stock all the way up to um, the iPhone 6. Uh, we're currently not stocking 6 Plus or the 6S or 6S Plus. Um, but every screen before that in black and white color um, we keep in stock. So we got all the 5Cs and 5Ss and, and 6s um, as well as the 4 CDMA, GSM um, and 4Ss. So uh, plenty of iPhone screens here in stock but that's really not what keeps us busy. Um, most of our work comes from replacing connectors um, and uh, teeny tiny stuff that really nobody else wants to work on. So anyways, this is a uh, iPad mini digitizer connectors. I typically keep about, oh, at least 10 of these on hand at a time because that's a really common repair. They get smashed really easy. Um, so this company is basically just my wife and I. Um, if you come here, it's, it's usually gonna be just myself or she and I. Um, once in a while, we'll have our, um, our kids here, uh, family-based business. Um, our middle child, he's seven, he really likes playing on the microscope and, and micro soldering. And to be completely honest, some of the work that I've seen him do on connectors is better than some of the garbage that we've gotten in the mail that we've ordered on eBay and from other places. So uh, micro soldering is really the, the biggest part of this company here. Um, so, but we really tried to start sending screen replacements elsewhere and everybody that comes in here will tell them that Apple's cheaper. Um, especially on the 6S and 6S Plus will tell you, look, you're, you're much better off to go to Apple. Um, so I really just wanted to introduce myself this morning. Um, we've never put a, really put a public face behind the company here. Nothing but ooh and ah, pictures on Facebook and stuff like that. Um, but that's us. Um, we really enjoy what we're doing here. Um, keep sending us your micro soldering work because I love doing it. Um, I'll be posting more videos from behind the microscope. Uh, we're adding a, a camera to the trinocular port on our stereo microscope really soon so I can start showing people live um, what it is I'm doing here because it, it's, it's really cool stuff. Um, things at the microscopic level are much different than people would expect. It's, um, it's really cool stuff. So I'm going to keep this video short. Um, keep sending us connector replacements. Um, We'll continue to do good work for you and, and hopefully you're happy with our service. If not, we'll figure out why you're not and try to make you happy. Uh, yesterday we had a, a 5C come in for just a, it was a botched repair, but it looked just like, oh, they just messed up the screen and they got two screens here, they're, they're both bad. So um, I was real busy and just moved it into queue as a, a screen replace, replacement. Uh, I'm not very good at this public speaking stuff. I. I'm pretty shy and I just, I don't do very well getting in front of a camera and talking, so I'm doing my best. Um, so anyways, it was just a simple screen replacement and I overlooked one little bit of a smudge at, at the end of the uh, digitizer connector. So when you plugged a new screen into it, there wasn't any touch functionality. So um, I just went ahead and replaced the connector. Cool, it worked, customer was happy and, and moved it on. When stuff like that happens, we typically don't raise the price because when we give you a price, that's the price to hand you back a working device. That's not to fix this one little thing over here and who cares nobody's going to be able to hear you or no inbound and outbound audio uh, when you're on the phone. You sent it to me for a connector. No, we, we don't do that. Um, we know when you send us something or bring it in for a repair, your goal is a working device and that's what we're after when we give you a price to fix it. So you might want to keep that in mind when price shopping too. There's a reason why we have our prices set the way that they are, um, and that's largely to deal with working devices. We want to make sure your device is working, 
Um, if it comes in for a screen replacement and winds up needing a front camera too or something else is wrong, we're going to fix that while it's here. So, um, okay, I'm going to keep this video short. That's it for today, everybody. Um, hope you have a good day. And uh, I've got to get busy. I'm backed up by about 30 devices from the last few days. So, um, wish me luck. Have a good day.